Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna to be talking you guys through my morning and my night skincare routine. Now you guys would have seen a lot of the products I'm gonna be mentioning in this video in past videos, from my favorites videos and some beauty hauls here and there, but it's about time that I put everything into one little video just so that you can refer back to if you have any questions about what I use on my skin and how I go about my routine. So let me give you a brief history about my skin. So at one point I used to have very, very oily skin, very acne prone, very blemish prone, prone that's in my teenage years and as time progressed it became a bit more normal and normal to combination and then at some point it became dry and then it went to sensitive and then it became normal right now I have very normal to combination skin so a um, majority of my skin is normal and then in the center it does get a bit oily throughout the day and in the winter time the sides of my face my cheeks and you know th this area in general does get quite dry but I would say that my skin's quite normal for the most part for some strange reason I've lost sensitivity at one point I was super super sensitive to perfumes um, and color but over time I've been testing out a few products and I've been you know risking it and my skin has kind of built some tolerance over the years and I feel like my skin is no longer as sensitive yes there are a few sensitive areas like my eye area obviously and around the lip area which is kind of normal for most people anyway but that super super sensitivity that I used to have at one point I no longer have it so my skin is pretty much much normal. So most of the products I use in the morning I use at night as well and I've been able to sort of like tailor this routine for my skin over the last few months and this has been working so perfectly for me and um, I've really noticed a change in my skin in general. It just looks brighter, it looks fresher and I'm really really strict with it. So you guys know I wear makeup a lot but I never ever sleep with makeup. I always say that sleeping with makeup is a huge no-no. It's the quickest way to damage your skin and also you don't know all the dirt that's been on your face throughout the day like you can't put that on your pillow no, 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 no. <laughs> So in the morning time when I wake up, I want my skin to feel refreshed and revived. So I always go for a facial wash and the one I always use is this one called um, Pink Grapefruit uh, Daily Scrub by Neutrogena. Now this is a scrub and I know some people will be thinking, isn't that too harsh for your skin to use every single day? But this is actually quite gentle on the skin so I use it every day. I love the fact that it goes into this kind of foamy consistency so it feels like I can really like wash my face and wash all the dirt off from the night before and all of that, you know, dead cells that creep onto my skin while I was sleeping and I literally just use some water lukewarm water rinse that off and then I pat dry and um, that's what I do and it keeps my skin feeling really refreshed and revived and you know ready after washing my face I like to tone my skin and what I mean by tone is I use a toner and the one I use is the traditional skincare by boots this is the glycerin and rose water one and I just pop this onto a cotton pad and I just wipe my face now this just removes excess product excess dirt and excess oil and it just really preps the skin for the moisturizer that's going to go on afterwards I like to apply some eye cream around the eye area and this is because the eye creams are generally formulated for the skin around the eyes the skin around the eyes is much more delicate as compared to the rest of the face so when you have creams that are too heavy sometimes it can weigh that area down it can give you dark circles it can cause premature wrinkles so that's why it's really important to invest in a good eye cream because the consistency is really tailored for that area um, I've used a couple in the past and I've mentioned them in videos I recently I came across a Dermalogica intensive eye repair now this one is a little sample size because I got one of those sample size kits and um, I've been using this one and it's so good all I do is I put a bit on my fingers you know rub that in and then I just pat it onto the skin around it really moisturizes that area Moisturizing is really good because it really just adds to the skin what has been lost through the whole cleansing and toning process and just in general keeping your skin hydrated and the moisturizer I've been using a lot and I really really love for my skin is the simple. Um, I tend to use a light the hydrating light moisturizer um, but lately I've been really you know looking into you know protecting my skin from you know UV rays and sun's rays and I came across another one in the range that actually has SPF and I've been using this one a lot. I just put this on my fingers, rub it in and then I pat it onto my skin. That's it. Throughout the day to keep my skin moisturized, I tend to go for a spray and this one is the Ultra Calming Mist by Dermalogica. I use this throughout the day before my makeup, when I'm at the gym, when I'm sweating and then I just need like a refreshing boost, I spray this. And it's really good because it does keep your skin hydrated throughout the day because sometimes you might, you know, be stuck in work mode or gym mode or, you know, running around mode and your skin is just getting drier and drier and drier. Just giving it that extra bit of moisture throughout the day is really important and um, I found that this one is so good, it works so well for me. 
my night routine now you guys know I wear makeup most of the time and um, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video it's so important to take that makeup off and I found that this method works so well for me and it's been so good to my skin and it is using a cleansing balm and the cleansing balm that I use is the Clinique take the day off cleanser it comes in a pot like this so to take off my makeup I just take a tiny bit of this and I rub it in between my fingers and then I rub it onto my face now this really does take all of the makeup off from waterproof mascara to eyeliner to lipstick everything it literally takes off and I get some cotton pads and I just wipe off all of the makeup and all of the excess and all of the product and it literally comes off so seamlessly so I go in again the second time the first time was to remove the product and this time is to actually cleanse the skin and then I just apply this onto my skin in circular motions and then I apply some lukewarm water and this is what I was talking about that it goes into like a milky consistency turns into a kind of wash and then I just rinse that off so very similar to my morning routine, I just use the toner just to remove all the excess dirt and oil that's been left behind. And then I follow with the eye cream, the Dermalogica Eye Intensive Eye Repair. And the only difference is at night, I prefer to use a serum. Now a serum is really good because it's deeper penetrating. And I heard before that um, your skin does a lot of um, its work when you're asleep. And I think that's why they call it beauty sleep. So um, I prefer to use a deeper penetrating serum at night and I just pat this onto my skin like I would do my moisturizer. And that leaves it looking so supple and feeling so soft. And then when I go to bed and wake up in the morning, I don't feel really tight. Because I remember in the past when I didn't have a night routine, I woke up in the morning and my skin would look really tight and I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh gosh, what happened there? But taking time out of my evening and taking time out of my morning just to spend those extra few minutes just taking care of my skin I think it's done me a world of good and I would really advise everyone out there to devise some kind of routine for yourself in the morning and at night time for your skin my mum always said this right from the get-go take care of your skin Shirley you don't want to get to my age and start regretting stuff so um, that's why I'm really big on it so thumbs up this video if you found it helpful guys make sure you subscribe to my channel it's gonna make me very very happy and don't forget to check out my blog Shirley's wardrobe follow me on all my social media i'm all over the internet and i'll see you soon thanks so much for watching bye hi everyone so today i'm going to be talking to you blah, 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 blah and you know it's some, some, some blah, can't talk um some oh, can't talk this is the problem when you talk too much with your hands. Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys. Why am I clapping? Am I a happy penguin or something? It's what's o'clock, it's, it's what's o'clock. The time is 12 in the afternoon and I've already gone through a whole 1.5 litre bottle of water.